Hi, welcome back. Renata here, uh, accompanied by Manjo and Rufus. Right, so the question today is what is the difference between acupuncture and dry needling? Okay, so acupuncture is basically a Chinese art form used in treating all different types of ailments, depression or kidney problems or heart problems or lymphatic drainage, you name it, it's pretty much they can treat anything. Um, as I said, it's an art form. It's something that has probably takes decades to actually master. Um, the only similarity between the two is that we use the acupuncture needles. So with acupuncture, the needles are terribly short, okay, because they're just stimulating pretty much a spot on the skin. So you can look it up yourself about meridians um, that run through the body that the Chinese then stimulate all different pressure points that then give them this recipe to help heal you. Um, with dry needling, uh, the, the, also we have different length needles depending on how big the muscle is you're needing to treat um, and also the diameter. So if you have a really lot big person you need to have a thicker needle to make sure that you're going directly to the spot you intend to reach. Um, but for, you know, generally for the average person, the diameter of 0.3 is pretty much what we use. Okay. So this one's about seven and a half centimeters, and this is a five centimeter needle. It sounds very long, but uh, so it is, <laughs> it's not. It won't go through you basically is what i'm saying so the needles come in a little wrap thing like that which you then open up at the back and each needle is encased in like a plastic little sheath that you then um, obviously toss once you've used it so you just put the needle down tap into the muscle and then you direct it into the muscle spasm dry needling is extremely effective um, how it basically works is uh, trigger point is basically like a knot in a muscle um, and often when you push on this particular knot the pain will often refer somewhere else so that's why well dry needling you're just literally going into the middle of the trigger point or the middle of the spasm to try and break it from the inside instead of just trying to rub it on the outside okay and uh, yeah so dry needling is used quite a lot nowadays and um, it's, as I said, it's fabulous. Done properly, it's uh, it's really a game changer. So that's that. If you have any questions about it, uh, please do ask. And I shall see you next time. Please share these. And uh, so more people can be informed about what all these fabulous topics that I come up with. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.